aren't they just the most mischievous little things in the jungle? Take a gawk at these clips and tell me they aren't one of the most annoying animals out there. Well, now they're about to get their comeuppance, because here are 20 times monkeys messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Cat vs. Monkey Kicking off the list, monkeys are actually known to be pretty knowledgeable, but just how smart are they? Well, it's selective, because it's either about surviving or being a total idiot in front of the camera. Here's one such example, when an African vervet monkey meets the common house cat, the Persian cat. Now, of course, both creatures are a bit on the defensive, especially the cat, but they're also displaying attributes of curiosity. Well, it's time that the tables are about to turn on this one. The monkey wanders to and fro, but then suddenly checks out the cat. Now, it's well known that cats are very territorial and space conscious, so you best not get in its face and invade its privacy. Of course, the monkey didn't know this, and even if he did, he wouldn't care. He'll still freak around and find out. And find out he did. The monkey goes in for a closer look, but the cat doesn't take too kindly to this and tries to scratch him. In fact, the cat has absolutely had enough and lets out a flurry of scratches, sending the monkey running. Yep, run along now, little man. That's gonna be a warning from both Mother Nature and the cat not to mess with something you're not prepared to fight. Now, it's time for the star topic. Just as I said, you monkeys better not mess with something you're not prepared to fight, because it could lead to something totally ugly. This image came from a bunch of tourists that were on a wildlife tour in Africa. Although it's to be expected that during these live tours with wild animals in their natural habitats, something is bound to get eaten. Well, if the monkeys think that it was over with the cat, then they have another thing coming with this shoebill stork. Shoebill storks are already dwindling in numbers in the wild, but that doesn't mean they are pushovers. Storks from all over the world have a habit of trying to swallow anything they can get their big beaks on. And guess what it got? <laughs> that's right, this poor old monkey. Well, that's just the price of natural selection. The monkey got too close for comfort and paid the ultimate price. Did you guys think the monkey could have had a fighting chance with this stork? Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your thoughts on this poor schmuck. Number 19. Cow vs. Monkeys Man oh man, monkeys really don't learn now do they? They like to fumble around and find out. But what about you? Do you like this video so far? If you do, consider pounding that like and subscribe. It helps us to grow the channel and keep pumping out good videos like this. Done? Well, let's get back to it then. The next entry in this list will highlight the combined mischievous power of the monkeys. Picture this, you're walking around in rural Bangladesh and you come across a cow. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? Well, that's when not one, not two, but an entire pack of wild monkeys have come. It looks like the boys are going out to do a little trolling. It's nothing too serious, except the cow does take it seriously. The monkeys initially scope out the scene and hop to and fro, but then they start harassing the cow. And what's worse is there's a lot of them, meaning the cow's getting harassed in different areas. It's too big and heavy to react accordingly, so now it just looks slow and sloppy in front of the monkeys. Not to mention, it's a restrained farm cow that's tied down. It can only go so far thanks to the limited range of its leash. What a travesty, and to think the cow was just minding its own business. Eventually, the monkeys do stop the teasing, but it's not to say that the cow isn't still thoroughly annoyed. I mean, who wouldn't be? If you were that big and lumbering, little children poking you around would just not really get under your skin, right? Number 18. Ostrich vs. Monkey That poor cow in the last entry was teased senselessly, but it's finally high time that the monkeys get another round of beating. This time, we're in the wild, where we could find a plethora of animals here. For this entry, the silly monkey will go against the massive ostrich. Now, the ostrich is massive, like the cow, but it's no slouch. 
it is a nimble runner. Remember this for later. So getting back, we have the herd of ostriches frolicking about, but then this lone monkey tries its tiny hands for possibly the heist of its life, stealing a massive ostrich egg. Now, this is no easy task, because ostrich eggs are actually the largest eggs to be laid by a currently living creature. We're not including dinosaurs in this one. So to carry one of these bad boys while being the size of a small primate will be quite the challenge. The coast is clear, so the monkey gets to work. Time to pick your poison, because the monkey will need to be fast and stealthy if he wants to achieve a winner-winner ostrich dinner. He nabs one, and the getaway starts. But uh-oh, here comes trouble. One of the ostriches sees all of this happening, and the cat and mouse chase begins. Now mind you, the monkey is weighed down by the egg and constantly drops it, so that 54.7177 kilometers per hour is probably nerfed. On the other hand, the ostrich's top speed is 69.2018 kilometers per hour. Yeah, this does not look good for our furry little urchin. The ostrich shortly catches up, and the monkey is forced to drop the egg. That's a big fat L for our little monkey, but at least he got away relatively unscathed. If the ostrich was really ticked off, the monkey would have met a shallow grave, but at least he gets to commit problems on purpose for another day. Number 17. Two Chimpanzees versus a Baboon our next standoff in this list makes it more fair. Yeah, okay, yeah, we know chimpanzees aren't exactly monkeys, but baboons are. Let's weigh in their facts. Chimpanzees and baboons are both primates that can be found throughout Africa. While they do have some similarities, they are members of different taxonomic families with diverse behaviors and physical traits. Chimpanzees are extremely bright and social creatures. They have an average height of 1 to 1.7 meters while standing upright. Chimpanzees are known for their impeccable social behaviors, use of tools, and problem-solving abilities, and they live in communities led by an alpha male. Canine-like snouts and long, backward-curving tails distinguish baboons. Their size varies according to species, with an average standing height ranging from one-half to one-and-a-half meters. Baboons have a hierarchical social structure and dwell in big groups. They are noted for their ability to adapt to varied settings and scavenge for numerous sorts of food. While both chimpanzees and baboons are strong and agile, they can both be totally wild and bonkers when pitted against each other. For the first time in this list, it's a draw. The chimps are smart and relatively strong, but they can be too cowardly sometimes. Baboons, on the other hand, are sly, agile, and can strike fast, but they're pretty lacking in the brute strength department. What a turnout. Number 16. Monkey Steals Banana From Orangutan Yes, this next one is still about both sides being primates, but it's a massive orangutan against a tiny monkey. To top it off, it's not even much of a fight, but more of another case of fumble around and find out. Let's meet our contenders. Both primates, monkeys and orangutans, are noted for their intellect and agility. Monkeys can be found all over the world, but orangutans are large apes that live in the rainforests of Borneo and Sumatra. Monkeys vary in height and species, with little monkeys standing about 30 centimeters tall and larger monkeys standing up to one meter tall. Now, of course, this specific monkey is a little smaller. They're well known for their agility and ability to scale trees. Monkeys are frequently resourceful and opportunistic, and they may steal food from other monkeys or engage in fun encounters, which is where our protagonist is. Orangutans, on the other hand, are significantly larger. Adult males can reach one and a half meters in height and weigh up to 90 kilograms. They have long, muscular arms and prefer to spend much of their time in trees. Orangutans are known for their solitary nature and mostly eat fruits, particularly bananas. It's two apes, one banana. Who will? You already know, the monkey gets absolutely destroyed once that tiny monkey gets his banana. Number 15. Monkey Fights Mountain Goat Man, monkeys really have to pick something in their weight class, because I doubt a goat would be such a good match, let alone a mountain goat. 
let's take into account all of our information about our two fighters. Monkeys, being primates, are known for their agility and social behavior. They come in a variety of types and sizes, but we'll concentrate on one specific wild monkey. Monkeys are generally arboreal and have adapted to life in trees, climbing and navigating through forest canopies with their nimble hands and feet. But these hands are soon flying into some wild mountain goats. Mountain goats, on the other hand, are enormous ungulates found in the highlands. They are highly adapted to their alpine habitat and have strong hooves for climbing steep and rocky terrain. Phillies, or male mountain goats, can weigh up to 135 kilograms and stand up to 1.2 meters tall, so you know they're tough. Round 1. Fight! And yeah, all that build up for basically a slap fest. Yeah, pack it up, people. It's a draw. And a flaccid one at that. How embarrassing. Number 14. Macaques versus Duck. And don't think that just because monkeys are terrestrial animals, they won't have the cojones to mosey on up to something of a different biome. Well, that's what's coming up, because this time it's a bunch of macaques against a duck. Macaques are monkeys, but more precisely, old world monkeys of the genus Macaca. They are incredibly adaptable and may be found in a wide range of environments across Asia, including forests, mountains, and even cities. Rhesus macaques, Japanese macaques, and long-tailed macaques are only a few of the macaque species. They, like most primates and apes, eat a wide variety of foods and are known for their social behavior and intellect. Ducks, on the other hand, are Inatidae family waterfowl birds. They have a worldwide distribution and may be found in both freshwater and saltwater settings. Ducks come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but they always have webbed feet that they use for swimming and eating aquatic plants, insects, and crustaceans. Now that we're set in, let's get to the fight. And the fight is another one of those underwhelming spats. Basically, it's just a light slap here and there, and then both parties retreat. What a waste of time. Number 13. Monkeys versus Crows. Oh, how the tables have turned on this next one. It isn't much of a fight, but I'll tell you, this time, the monkeys are the ones being annoyed. Let's look at the stats on these two fighters. Monkeys are already known to be swift, agile, wild, and mostly hunt and gather in packs. But these monkeys we're looking at in this particular entry are quite lonesome. And the enemy? The crows. They are intelligent birds belonging to the Corvidae family. They're found worldwide and have a reputation for their problem-solving skills, tool use, and ability to communicate. Fun fact, did you know that a flock of crows are called a murderer of crows? Pretty edgy if you ask me. Crows, including species like the American crow or the carrion crow, are highly adaptable and often live in urban environments where they scavenge for food and build nests, which explains how we got to this little dilemma. Imagine the previous videos on this list where some big animal was just minding its own business and then the monkeys came by to harass the stuffing out of them. Well, now it's time for the monkey to have a taste of its own medicine. Crows come around to and fro. For this buff monkey, it's not really much, but what about this other monkey that's alone with his fruit? Well, he gets the sharp end of the crow's beaks as they swoop past him repeatedly, obviously wanting the fruit. But the monkey doesn't let up and defends his food with an almighty fervor. Try as they might, it's futile, because the monkeys win on this one. The crows might be many, but man, they do next to no damage at all. Number 12. Monkeys versus Monitor Lizard. Oh man, this is just too sad of a matchup. Because if I'm not mistaken, our crazy little friends here are up against some competition. Yeah, the competition I'm talking about is the Monitor Lizard. We already know a lot about monkeys, so let's take a closer look at our scaly friend here. Monitor lizards are huge reptiles that are members of the Varanidae family. They are found in Africa, Asia, and Australia, with the largest species being the monstrous Komodo dragon. Monitor lizards have lengthy bodies, sharp claws, and strong jaws, and they can climb and swim. Monitor lizards are opportunistic predators and scavengers, and they may prey on smaller animals. Yes, monkeys are on the menu. 
let's have a look at how this whole ordeal would go. There's a bunch of monkeys over there, while a lone monitor lizard is just passing by to bask, not really looking for a meal. It remains motionless in this one spot, so the monkey's curiosity finally gets the best of him. One of them approaches the lizard, and oh boy, that is not good. The monitor lizard, despite being motionless for basking, knows when to check its surroundings. It senses the monkey's approach, and when it gets too close, slap! That monkey's actually pretty lucky, because this whole encounter didn't end brutally. So the win goes to the monitor lizard. Is there ever a doubt? Number 11. Monkeys versus Doberman. What's the dog doing? Well, this next entry should answer that. Now, dogs are mostly fun creatures aided with the title of man's best friend, but they are quite unique in several ways. For example, the specific dog mentioned in this entry is a Doberman, and they have quite a notorious nature. Dobermans, also known as Doberman Pinschers, are a medium to large sized dog breed that originated in Germany. They are well known for their devotion, intellect, and protectiveness. Doberman Pinschers are frequently utilized as working dogs in a variety of capacities, including guard dogs, search and rescue dogs, and police dogs. They have a sleek and elegant appearance and are powerful and agile. With strength and speed on its side, this is gonna look like a one-sided fight, right? Well, it's not what you think. This Doberman is actually pretty friendly compared to its expected behavior. This dude is just giving these animals some food, then the Doberman is trying to engage and play with the monkeys. The monkeys don't really mind it, so they eat a bit and leave, possibly to be annoyed rather than driven out with brute force. So technically speaking, thanks to its kind and friendly nature, the Doberman takes this victory. Number 10. Monkeys vs. Weasels In our next fight, we have another instance of the monkeys getting a taste of their own medicine yet again. This time from a quite unexpected, underrated creature, the weasel. Looking at the facts, weasels are small, carnivorous animals that are members of the Mustelidae family. They are distinguished by their slim bodies, small legs, and long cylindrical shape. Weasel's flexible bone structure allows them to crawl through tiny burrows and tunnels in quest of prey. They are adept hunters who eat tiny mammals, birds, eggs, and insects. Weasels can be found in a variety of environments, including woods, grasslands, and polar tundra. Interactions between monkeys and weasels in the wild are quite uncommon since they often inhabit distinct environments and have different ecological niches. However, interactions are possible in captivity or under rare circumstances where their paths may meet, and whenever push comes to shove, the aggressiveness of the weasel goes on full display. Don't be fooled, the weasels might look like they're just annoying and playing with these monkeys, but they're actually scoping out the scene and testing the reactions of the monkeys. Once they have a good idea of their opponent, it's time to strike. Boom! See how fast that was? Yep, that was the weasels going on full assault. These are little guys who are known to be very intimidating, even against larger prey. After a few bites to a few dire spots, it's dinner time. Yes, we saw a monitor lizard, but who expected a tiny little weasel to be this gory? Number 9. Monkey vs. Otter in our next fight, we have another instance of the monkeys getting raised by something unexpectedly cute. It's a bit of a grappling match on this one, so you might want to stand back a little. In this bushy scene, these two contenders aren't holding back when it comes to wrestling. Again, the monkey is our protagonist here, so let's look into what makes the otter tick. Otters are semi-aquatic animals known for their animated personalities, as shown here, and streamlined bodies that allow them to swim efficiently. These small sea pups can be found in both freshwater and saltwater habitats across the world, including rivers, lakes, marshes, and beaches. Otters' dense, waterproof fur helps keep them warm in frigid water. They have webbed feet and a powerful tail that helps them swim. They primarily eat fish, crabs, mollusks, and amphibians and are notorious for cracking open shells or opening hard prey items with rocks, which does resemble apes in a way thanks to their use of tools. Otters are highly gregarious animals that frequently reside in family groups known as rafts. 
I guess the monkeys aren't the only ones with posses. But not just that, otters are also known to communicate by vocalizations and mark their territory with scent, just like the monkeys. So now that we know what the otters are capable of, let's see their fight with the monkey. Uneventful, predictable, and full of grappling, I might say. It looks like they're just having a playful time, honestly. Number A, Monkey versus Loons. Hopefully, this next one actually makes the monkey look like an idiot. On this side of the ring, a sizable wild monkey. On the other side, two common loons. Let's meet the latter, shall we? The common loon, Gavia Immer, is a big North American water bird, and it's also the provincial bird of Ontario, Canada. It's distinguished by its unusual look and eerie sounds. These birds range in lengths from 66 to 91 centimeters and have a wingspan of 122 to 152 centimeters. They can weigh between 2.7 and 6.3 kilos. These birds have deceptively strong legs, and because of these strong legs located far back on their body and their webbed feet, these birds are outstanding divers and swimmers. They primarily eat fish caught underwater. Small to medium-sized fish, such as perch, trout, and sunfish, make up the majority of their diet. The common loon's mournful call is a familiar sound in many North American lakes. These calls serve a variety of functions, including territorial defense and interpersonal communication, which they're showing off now because these waterfowls don't want any monkeys in the vicinity. The monkey gets too close and it gets jumped by these feathery devils. They clearly don't want it near them, so the monkey is forced the other way. Number 7. Pitbull vs. Giant Monkey Oh man, everybody's gotta come out and see this. This beefy monkey is staring down a pit bull. No, not Mr. Worldwide, but the bane of every toddler in LA is what I mean. That monkey looks absolutely jacked, so how will the pit bull stand a chance? Well, only one way to find out, and by that, I mean looking at the pit bull's stats before they fight. Pit bulls are canines and are well known for their power, agility, and loyalty. These ferocious meat bags can vary in size according to the breed. They're normally 45 to 55 centimeters tall at the shoulder and weigh between 16 and 30 kilograms, but Aren't they rather short with these stats? Well, not at all. They might be somewhat short, but they're really mean. Just ask any child from California. Pitbulls are robust dogs with a wide chest and powerful jaws, which is the number one fear factor of them. Now that we know what this mutt's weapons and standings are, let's see the showdown. It's not really a showdown because I lie. That's right, I'm a big ol' liar. This is one of those play fights, which I'm actually quite surprised at considering they aren't tearing each other apart limb from limb. This is a Reddit gold if I've ever seen one. Number 6. Sheep vs. Monkey Look, they might look like any old cattle, but don't fumble around sheep. They might look docile, but this monkey learned the hard way. Let's look at our angry ball of fluff first. Sheep are domesticated mammals reared primarily for wool, meat, and milk. They are herbivores, and their grazing habits are well known, which you shouldn't really mess around with unless you're either really confident and headstrong or an imposing force to be reckoned with. Now, the story goes that a few of these dudes were trying to befriend this sheep by feeding it. It's just your normal, wholesome time. But here comes the monkey. Oddly enough, monkeys are usually erratic, but this one's just passing them by, then it saw the feed. Of course, it wants a piece of that, and nothing of note happens yet. It's not until the monkey eats just a bit too much, and then it's BOOM! Mess with the bull and you get the horns? Nah. Mess with this sheep and you get creeped. The sheep rams the monkey in such a staggering manner, the monkey retreats. What a hilarious and embarrassing defeat. Number 5. Baboon vs. Mother Gazelle that monkey was just totally out of his element, but what if we give a bit of an advantage? Well, if we roided that monkey into a baboon, now things might just go crazy. Baboons and gazelles are both African creatures, but they actually come across each other more than you might think. 
Baboons are primates recognized for their flexibility and gregarious behavior. They are omnivorous, eating a variety of items, such as fruits, seeds, insects, and even small mammals. See, this is why the baboon was after this young gazelle. Gazelles, on the other hand, are antelopes famed for their quickness and elegance. They are herbivores who eat on grasses and foliage. They usually hang around herds for safety, and they run on the sight of predators, but not this time. The baboon goes for the easy pickings of the young gazelle, but mama's here to put a stop to that. While they are good runners, gazelles have sharp horns. Although the baboon might be relatively unharmed, he's not taking his chances with those sharp things around, so he retreats. What a loss. Number 4. Tigers vs. Monkey Gazelles overturning the fight against a baboon? Pretty amazing, but this next one is a jaw-dropper. A few tigers against this monkey. Now, of course, almost everyone's money's on the tigers for this one, but what they didn't expect is the fighting arena, a jungle full of trees. Alright, but what about the tiger's strength and advantages? Tigers are the largest members of the cat family, with a regal appearance and a muscular physique. But that's not all. They have endurance, claws, teeth, and ferocity on their side. The monkey should be turning his pants brown by now, but that's not entirely the case. The monkey survives this entire ordeal by making good use of its agility and the trees. It swings around and around, making it out of reach of the tigers. Now, tigers can be good climbers, yeah, but they just can't keep up with this wild primate. Hats off to the victor, the monkey. Number 3. Dog vs. Monkeys that was arguably one of the most dangerous cats on the planet and one of the most dangerous fights that that monkey ever faced. But what's his next opponent? Well, it's this stubby dog. He's just hopping around being playful. Now, of course, these wild monkeys don't like being disturbed like that. In fact, they take offense to it, so they go wild. They sprung into action and took turns in harassing the poor dog. They either go for a Potemkin buster grapple, a slap, a small hit, or a bite. This gets out of hand, so the humans begin to intervene. Pretty obvious, but the monkeys win this one. Number 2. Rooster vs. Monkey Up next, and spoiler alert, it's another embarrassing defeat. Now, arguably, the monkey here did look pretty young, but it got defeated by a walking piece of a KFC bucket meal. Not sponsored, nor ever expected to be a sponsor. It was the rooster here that insinuates the fight, and once it goes in raw, there's no stopping it. The monkey fights back repeatedly, but again, it's too young, and not to mention, it's crudely hooked to this wall. The rooster tussles hard, and it eventually drives the monkey to cower at the higher areas of the wall. I guess that's victory for the colonel, then. Bring out the 11 herbs and spices. Number 1. Cobra vs. Monkey And for our last bold fight, it's this monkey versus the fearsome cobra. Yeah, out of all the opponents, a freaking cobra. Naya Zabi, or the cobra here, is a ruthless snake that's known to squeeze out venom during its bites. But I guess that doesn't drive the monkey away. The monkey brings out his inner Kong, roars a bunch of times, and they ball. The monkey lands a lot of hits, but the cobra manages to bite back. What's weird is that thanks to the troglodyte who acquired this clip, we can't tell if the cobra is sunk in its fangs and the venom or not. The two clap back at each other constantly, and this is really open-ended. Thanks for nothing to whoever posted this footage. I hope those clips didn't bore you to sleep, because those were some painfully mild monkey videos. Were you on the edge of your seat or on the verge of catching some Zs on this one? Tell us in the comments below. If you want more of our videos, make sure to check out the videos in the cards now. Thanks for watching, and don't let us catch you monkeying around.